What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Sunday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralt. You guys can follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt, this podcast on the Betting Pros YouTube channel or wherever you guys get your audio podcasts. A hell of a day yesterday. If you were with us on the Discord chat, which happens every Saturday morning, I give you my entire card. We went 7 2 and 1 yesterday, and the official plays went 5 and 1. Yesterday, Penn State was the lone one. They won by 14. They missed two free uh, two field goals that could have gotten us the cover there. Penn State could have covered that number, and then we would have swept it. But BYU won outright as a dog. UNLV, easiest walk to the window of the day, destroyed Fresno State. Northern Illinois lost by seven. We get the hook in the right way. North Carolina blows a 20 to nothing lead, but they cover. 21-20, the final against Duke. And then the Arkansas play, that was the betting pros app play. Arkansas lost by four, but they covered the five and a half to get us to a five and one record up 3.75 units on the day, which as I said last night on the juice, I said, hey, we need to have a big Saturday because if we do, we'll be in prime position to have a winning week. And we are right there in prime position to have a winning week as long as we win here on Sunday. If we lose... We're probably going to be slightly down, but the good news is our baseball futures will all be graded today, including the Chicago Cubs, okay? I'm going to tell you what I am doing with this when I get up on Sunday morning on the Discord channel. The Cubs have 83 wins. The Cubs win, they get 84, and we go over on their win total. So we will be over on the Cub win total, the Diamondback win total, the Red Sox win total, and we will have gotten the win total right for the under on the Marlins. We would not have gotten right on the Rockies, who I think are going to wind up winning 61 games. We bet under 60 and a half, which stinks. But going 4-1 and one there, and then 0-1 oh at the break bet to go over 101 wins for somebody in baseball, nobody will do that, so we'll lose that bet. So it'll be a 4-2 and two mark or a 3-3 three and three mark. So I don't know what to do with this, because if I hedge out of it, it's a 3-2 and two mark, or do I want to let it ride? We've been you know, going this whole time. A part of me like wants to watch the Cub game start, and if the Cubs get down in like the first inning or two, then we'll come on and bet on the uh, on, on the other team and see how. But you have to watch out for the juice and like I don't know what to do with this. I'm gonna get up in the morning and I'm gonna look at it and kind of try to figure out what the best play is for the Cubs game here. If the Cubs win, we go over. Maybe you just let it ride. I, I might just let it ride. I don't know. Normally I don't do that, but <clears throat> I don't know. I gotta see how how the day, how the, how the game and everything else, how it's going to unfold. they got to read more about how the Cubs are going to approach this. And they've got 83 wins. We bet over 83 and a half. I don't want to get hooked on the last day of the regular season. That would stink. So I'll tell you about that coming up later on. But the betting pros app play, that cash, that was good. I will have most likely another betting pros bet that will be on the Discord channel. When, where, and how I play that, I don't know. But it, I'll alert you. Sorry, I mean, it'll be on the Betting Pros app. It won't be on the Discord channel. I'll alert you on the Discord channel when I post it. To get there, bettingpros.com slash Matt. That's how you get that extra play, bettingpros.com slash Matt. So I will have an extra play in some either extra prop or an extra play, one of the two. I got to figure that out coming up here later on today on our Betting Pros app. So again, bettingpros.com slash Matt to get in to that. Reminder on the live stream that happens today, Sunday morning, Sunday midday, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, myself and Pat Fitzmorris. We will go for a 45-minute jaunt through all the lines, picks, plays, and player props. That's where I'll give you all of my player props, or at least four of them. I'll give them to you on our live stream coming up later on today. I will also give you the Wong teaser, which has yet to hit. We're 0-3 on Wong teasers. It normally does start a little slow, but we normally get one right in the first three weeks. So hopefully we'll get another one right or get our first one right here today. But I've got three straight bets and I've got one teaser to give you guys here on the Daily Juice for Sunday. But before that, let me tell you about our friends at DraftKings. You guys can go download the new DraftKings Pick 6 app and use the code JUICE. That's JUICE when you sign up. 
for new Pick 6 customers. You play $5, you'll get $50 in Pick 6 credits guaranteed, plus one month of NFL Plus with Red Zone and NFL Network only on DraftKings Pick 6. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Help is available for problem gambling. Call 888 78 Nine seven 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 seven, or visit ccpg.org in Connecticut. Must be 18 plus age and eligibility restrictions may vary by jurisdiction. Pick six not available everywhere, including New York, Ontario, in Ontario. Excuse me. Void where prohibited. See terms at pick six dot draftkings dot com slash promos. One per new customer reward issued as fifty dollars in non withdrawable pick six credits that expire in six months. NFL Plus Premium offer available only to new and former NFL Plus subscribers. NFL additional NFL Plus Premium terms at NFL.com slash terms. All right, let's get into this here today. I am on an island with a lot of people, and a lot of people are going to tell me that I'm nuts here, but I think the Jacksonville Jaguars actually have something to play for. I really do. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to play play much better. They got housed against Buffalo. But I think Doug Peterson's coaching for his job. I think he knows it. I know people are all about Houston. I, I understand it. They think Houston is a team that just has to be reckoned with. And Nico Collins is going to go off against that secondary that you've got a passing offense that needs to get back on track and that C.J. Stroud is going to put up some big numbers. Look, I don't know. Call it a gut feel. Call it whatever you want here. But I got six and a half, and I'm taking it. I'm taking Jaguars plus six and a half. It's something that I used. You know, I've told people to use it in contests. It's my favorite play of the week. I might be dead wrong, okay? I might be dead wrong. Jacksonville plus six and a half. It's just one of those weird deals. It's one of those strange games that I think we're all going to go. How did that happen? Like how, how in the world did that actually happen where the Jaguars beat the Texans? It's a divisional game. I don't know. Oh, wow. Oregon won 34, 13 Oregon covered. Wow. I mean, I mean, sorry, UCLA covered the 25 and a half point number. That was my last bet that I did not. The game just went final 21. UCLA covered. How about that? Hmm. Good day with football yesterday. Good day. I didn't bet it. I should have bet it. It was my last bet on the card to try to jump in on, but it didn't hit. Jacksonville plus six and a half. 1.1 units down on that. Now, play number two. New Orleans at Atlanta. This number now is three. You've seen all sorts of money coming in here on the Falcons. Saints bounce back. Again, these are numbers plays. As much as it's playing on laundry and it's playing, it's playing on who's going to be with whom, it's also playing on just the number. It's three. It's minus 105. New Orleans, Atlanta, minus 105, three. Uh, I mean, it, Circus Sports has got it at three. Superbook's at three, even money. Uh, three minus 105 at DraftKings. Three minus 105 at Caesars. I, I, I just think Atlanta, I... Maybe I'm blind to the Falcons. Maybe I should be playing more, paying more attention. But I, I just think the Saints are a team that people didn't expect much of. They got off to a really fast start. And again, people aren't really all that impressed. And they're not that surprised. And they're like, or they are pretty surprised. And like, we don't think the Saints are all that good. We don't think the offense is that good. You know, it looks like Alvin Kamara may not go. And. You know, Derek Carr is a bit nicked up, and but I mean, the Falcons are just a team that I can't ever really trust. Even at home, I'm not really there. B. John Robinson's got a shoulder injury for the Falcons, so that's a big concern for them as well. Divisional game, I, I'm i taking the dog here. I, I mean, I, I, I'm taking, I know it's on the road, but I'm taking the Saints. Give me plus three with New Orleans. I think the Saints team's got a chance to go in there and win the game outright. And I know Derek Carr's nursing a sore groin, but I, again, I'm just I'm not a very big fan of Atlanta. I'll take New Orleans plus the three here today. And then finally, for the straight bets, Denver's on the road at the Jets. Sean Payton in weeks three and four is an absolute wizard. We bet him last week for that reason on the road against the Bucks. They won the game outright. Bo Nix played incredibly well. This is week four for Sean Payton who is the most profitable week three in week four head football coach in the Super Bowl era. He's a wizard. 
This number continues to climb. It's eight and a half now for Denver on the road at the New York Jets. Back-to-back road games. Totally understand why people are saying Bo Nix will get swallowed up by this Jets defense. That the defense for the Broncos played really well last week. But back-to-back, you always fade the team on the road in the second game of a roadie in the NFL. Eight and a half points is too many points. I could be dead wrong on this. I might be completely off my rocker on this, but I'm taking the points. Give me Denver plus eight and a half. Bo Nix to keep developing this defense to befuddle Aaron Rodgers. Turn the football over for Denver. Be in the game. Denver wins the, I mean, uh, the Jets win the game by four points. Denver will have a shot to win the game, but I think the Jets win. But I'm going to go ahead and just take the points here. Eight and a half. Denver plus eight and a half for 1.1 units. All right, for the straight plays, it's the Jags plus six and a half for 1.1 units, the Saints plus three for 1.1 units, and the Broncos plus eight and a half for 1.1 units. That takes us to my prop, my teaser personally, which has gotten off to a pretty good start. Two and one for my teasers. The Bills are two and a half point dogs up against the Ravens. A lot of people like the Ravens but a lot of people like the Bills, too. This is just a number tease for me. I get a really contested, unbelievable football game between two teams that really need it. The Ravens really need this W. Baltimore, two-and-a-half-point dogs. We cross three, we cross seven, and we get Baltimore up to an eight-and-a-half-point, sorry, Buffalo up to an eight-and-a-half-point dog on the road against Baltimore. I like their chances of keeping the game close. And then the Philly game against Tampa is all the way down to a pick. And... I mean, you can flip, you can fool around with this. You might be able to get, you know, a decent opportunity to, to, to pull Philadelphia up. I pulled Philadelphia up to plus six on this, on my teaser, and Philly plus six. You might be able to get Tampa Bay and tease Tampa up as well. But I think Philly has a chance to go down there and, and kind of, you know, keep the keep the misery going for the Bucks here a little bit as they come back down to earth. Plus six for Philly. Okay. Plus six for 1.2 units. Jaguars plus six and a half. Saints plus three. Broncos plus eight and a half. Bills plus eight and a half. And Philadelphia plus six on that six point teaser from minus 120. Bills and Philly both teased up to eight and a half and to six. Jag Saints Broncos for dog plays, taking the dog plus the points here for week four in the NFL. The prop bets will be found on the live stream. The Wong teaser will be found on the live stream. That is all st- that is all happening at noon Eastern time on the Betting Pros YouTube channel. And then also I will have a play on the Betting Pros app, either an extra bet side total or prop to give you guys coming up here for today on a Sunday. You'll find that play by going to bettingpros.com slash Matt. My name is Matt Peralt. I'll talk to you later today for the live stream with Pat Fitzmaurice and myself. Every single morning, it's the Daily Juice Podcast presented by DraftKings.